Okay, y'all, we're back at it. We went out again, so of course we went sourcing again. Here's the stuff that I picked up yesterday at a different vendor mall locally. Enjoy. Ooh, we got a little bit of rain, guys. That's okay. Help the plants grow. Anyway, we're back at the trunk of my car. This is a place that I am often hanging out. <laughs> we stopped yesterday, we being me and my children again, at a local vendor mall. This is a different one than the last one. There are actually four in the same little stretch of town. I'm just going to go ahead and go through the stuff that I bought. So the first thing here is this cart. It's like a rolling cart. I paid five dollars for it. This is for personal use uh, to help me organize maybe my kids homeschool area or my eBay office space. Here is one of the first items that I bought. It is a cruel work, which means I'm pretty sure cruel is just that it is uh, like yarn instead of thread. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, <clears throat> but it's basically embroidery with yarn. And this is a fun little scenic picture with a beautiful rainbow on it. I generally have a really easy time selling items with rainbows on them. Um, so yeah, I picked that up because I thought it was cute. This was $3. It is a, let's see, Price Products Gourmet Cutlery in the box. And for $3, I would keep these knives if they're not worth selling. So for me, when I go shopping and I pick something up like this that I'm really unsure about, I think about, would I keep it? Would I be able to use it? And if so, then I will, especially then will I pick it up because if I'm able to, not able to sell it, I'm able to use it, which is great. Oh, these still have the price sticker on them. I paid a dollar for the set of two. They are kind of like a primitive country shabby style um, little wooden trinket trays. Um, one small and one large. So yeah, I paid a dollar for a pair of those. A lot of times if something is like a dollar, I think about, and I shop at the Dollar Tree a lot. I'm like, would I buy this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar? Absolutely. So that definitely went home with me. Um, this bowl I paid two dollars for. No, I three dollars for this bowl. I'm not sure the type of wood. I do know it's vintage, even though I can't read the tag anymore. I know that the tag was not a modern tag, and again, it has a lot of wear on the bottom, which is another good sign of a vintage item. Um, but it is a animal print, zebra print dish or console bowl or whatever you want to use it for. Super cute, super on trend. These are for my personal use. I'm going to hang them up in my house. Um, somebody just took these fun little pictures of mushrooms and then framed them. Up. And I paid a dollar fifty a piece for those. I think the frames are really cool, so you know, definitely worth picking up those. I, if you know me or you've seen my videos before, I personally collect mushrooms and mushroom items in like 70s kind of kitschy things so the mushrooms definitely do it for me so I picked those up for my sale this guy is a fun huge faced a bear is what the <laughs> the tag said uh sure he's a bear he's alabaster stone and I paid three dollars for him which I thought was an excellent price and so did Chip the woman who runs the store she said wow what an excellent price <laughs> I don't buy it if it's not an excellent price. So here's another fun little bear. It is a copper or bronze, probably, I don't know, brass maybe, belt buckle made by Indiana Metalcraft in 1982. I paid $3 for this belt buckle and it is a bear getting him some lunch. Bam. Here. Huh. Uh, people often wonder what type of mugs to buy. Here you go. Here's the type of mug to buy. A art craft or art pottery um, mug will generally sell, especially a larger mug or, you know, it's good if you can pick them up for a dollar or so, which is what I paid for this one. And again, this is something that I would be willing to keep if I'm not able to sell it. it makes it easier for me to decide to buy it. This is a Rubbermaid 
12 inch drawer organizer slide out organizer from the 70s is definitely pretty roached in the box but I'll, again i'll probably use this in my own kitchen help me get my life together here comes a big old truck i call them water buffalo those big trucks with the big old tanks on the back anyway next is this solid brass candle snuffer and it actually has uh, like a wick inside of the handle and this little thing slides I'm assuming so you can also light your candle and then put it out when it's done bada bing bada boom oh he got a little crushed or he was crushed when I bought him for 50 cents. This is a super cute little candle with the black cat and the pumpkin. And you know what time of year it is, y'all. So it's time to start digging into the Halloweener stuff. This is a cast iron with little strawberries um, soap dish. So I paid a dollar for that. Really cool. Definitely sellable. Uh, this I paid 50 cents for. I wasn't 100% sure what it is. Obviously, it's an ashtray, guys. Okay, I'm not that dumb, but it is an ashtray. However, it says on it, Hatboro PA Automatic Transfer Molding Machine, Model 99C, The Hull Corporation. So this is some sort of advertising ashtray. Um, ashtrays generally do pretty well. Advertising ashtrays do really well. At least they usually do for me. They sell really fast. So as I'm checking out, I know the woman who works there pretty well. I used to sell at her vendor mall, and she was asking me if I would made any great finds lately. I told her about a couple of my larger eBay sales, and then I said, I found these today wandering around, and I'm actually pretty excited about them, and I can't wait to look them up. So they are um, solid. Well, they're not solid. Okay, I lied. They're hollow, bronze, um, little girls with her bonnet on sitting on a pretty little pillow. And she is reading the story of Little Red Riding Hood. And there's a pair of them. So I paid $10 for the pair of these. They have this marking on the back. Uh, I did some research yesterday um, when I got these items. I took them home. Yesterday was uh, September 1st. And in, in two days, it's my birthday, y'all. Friday, September 4th is my birthday. I'll probably air this video on my birthday. So, hey, for my birthday, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? That would be a great birthday present, y'all. Hit that subscribe button for me for my birthday. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. You don't owe me shit. Regardless, this. I looked these up. These are by the K&O Company, made in the USA. Come on, focus. There we go. This company manufactured items between the mid-1800s and 1935. So these particular girls were made somewhere in that time range and they could be potentially worth up to $500. I don't know. The research I did, all of these bookends by this company, they sell anywhere from $100 to this. There's a pair that sold up to $700. So I'm not exactly sure what these exact girls are worth, but I will list them high and I will put best offer on and I will take, you know, the best offer that comes to me in a timely amount, <laughs> timely manner. So anyway, as another truck goes by, I'm going to remind you guys again, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll be coming back with a lot more content here, more what sold's coming next week. And you know, if I could keep on shopping, which I will, then you guys are going to keep on seeing what I'm buying. Anyway, have a wonderful day, you guys. In the meantime, happy hunting! Once now I'd